We want to first uh, thank uh, the, the leadership of the NLC and TUC for organizing pro this protest in solidarity with academic staff of universities. Uh, this shows that uh, they have the universities in Nigeria at heart and they have the children of the poor masses at heart. Children of the poor masses have been at home for about seven months now. The government does not care about them for the simple fact that their children are not schooling in Nigeria. Leaving the poor masses, I mean, to suffer what they must. And I think I really appreciate the Nigerian Labour Congress and TUS and all other unions that actually showed the solidarity today. We appreciate that and we really, you know, I mean, uh, we have witnessed the, uh, what do you call, the out, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, outcome of the protest, how people, the turnout, and people really gave the support and we are impressed with that. The, 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 the effects of the strikes are enormous. They are enormous. Imagine you, you having children that are staying at home for more than seven months without doing anything. Exactly. It's part of what led to insecurity in Nigeria. The level of insecurity in Nigeria is increasing day by day. We submitted the letter to Deputy Governor of the State by extension to His Excellency because it was he that directed the Deputy Governor to come and accept us and collect our letter. Uh, the, 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 the was excellent. was excellent. People were vibrating. We were happy. None of the affluent that has not come. Okay. If this strike continues, do you think this will affect the security of this state, considering the fragile uh, security situation we have? I was, I was in prison visit. One of the state members, one of the culvert was, he believed it was uh, ignorant that brought him to the prison. And go to any camp of uh, security attack, banditry, you can't meet somebody that is indicated.
And remember, these people that were trying to deny our right, they were the ones that enjoyed the education, free education, and was, it would even allowances in the education. But now they were trying to cripple it because they can be able to take their children into private schools. And they even on the private school. We know there is a former governor who has private school in Ghana that they tell him after 50 years he will hand over to, 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 to the uh, government of the, na, Ghana. So this is very bad. No, if, if there is if no response, we will close the country, the country now. We will go into indefinite strike. And then we will lock everywhere, including sea, including airport, including road, including market, including everywhere. Wherever they will go and get their own mercy, we will block it. Yes, of course. We will give them ultimatum. We will give them now, no, now after three days. The NLC will convey another meeting to the national body to decide on what to do. The assurance we have that we tell them our grievances. And we are the ones that vote them in. If they did it, we vote them out. This is a very nice rally. We are not stating it because this is freedom. We are in Nigeria, we are in democracy. So we need to elaborate and say our appealing. Comrades are here to say they are appealing that our children have been abandoned for the last six, years, six months, which they are trying to make the government to know that uh, Nigerians are worried. So for them to make this rally, I'm not saying anything bad about it. So it is good that uh, Mr. President and also the minister should at least try to see how we can have a dialogue between we and us. Let the students continue learning at home. They should be at the situation. Whatever comes, it will go. I'm sure this is a temporary measure, and I'm sure, by the way, Amana, you people have been taken uh, care of, and uh, the way you have been mobilizing, I'm sure things will come to an end. So let them be patient. Both the parents and the children should be patient.